Hey everybody, it's Phantom321 here, bringing you some more Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 Wi-Fi Battles. This is a UU match I got against someone by the name of Necro Stevo from the Smogan Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Checking out his team, well, a lot of his team is going to be really bulky. I mean, he has the Spiritomb, which is really bulky, same with the Slowking and the Bronzong. And then Armaldo might be bulky if he's running a more defensive set. And in my opinion, his most threatening Pokemon is going to be Scrafty, because if the Scrafty does set up on me, then, well, I can kind of be in a lot of trouble. But anyways, guys, without further further ado, let's just go ahead and begin the match. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and lead off by sending out my Darmanitan, predicting him to send out his Bronzong, and he is going to send out his Bronzong, so that's a pretty good prediction on my part right off the bat, because I definitely have the advantage on the Bronzong. I'm going to decide to stay in and go for the Flare Blitz. I know Bronzongs typically carry Earthquake, but I know I can take it because, well, Bronzong doesn't have the best attack, but yeah, the Flare Blitz wasn't enough to one-hit KO it, but whatever, he's going to go for the Trick Room, and apparently this is going to be my second Trick Room match in a row. But whatever, he's going to go for the Psy Shock right here, and I know Darmanitan can take it, so that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to go for the U-Turn. I could have gone for the Flare Blitz, but I didn't want to take more recoil damage along with Life Orb, so I decided just to go for the U-Turn. And now I'm going to U-Turn out into my Blastoise, because I figured that, well, Blastoise is my more bulky Pokemon, so I'm just going to send out my Wallet just to see what he would send out. He's going to go for the Scrafty, and he's going to go for the Crunch, and I'm just hoping that I, Blastoise takes it well, and it does. I'm just going to roar him out into another Pokemon, and I managed to roar mount to Armaldo, so that's actually pretty good for me because, well, Scrafty was kind of a threat to my Blastoise and... Well, Armaldo is a better matchup for my Blastoise. He went for the knockoff right there, and he got rid of my leftover, so that's actually going to cripple my Blastoise because I have no other way of regaining any health from my Blastoise, so that kind of sucks. Anyways, for this next move, he's going to switch out into his next Pokemon, which is going to go ahead and be back out into the Scrafty. I'm going to decide to go for the Skull just to try and get the burn because the burn will be useful on the Scrafty because I'll cripple it. The only downside to the burn, I guess, would be if he does carry the Shed Skin. I know he doesn't carry the Intimidate because when he sent out the Scrafty on my Blastoise, the Intimidate didn't kick in, so now I know he doesn't have it, so now I'm just wondering if he has Moxie or Shed Skin, but whatever. I went out to my Honchkrow. That was a questionable move on my part, but whatever. He's going to switch out into his Armaldo, and I just decided to go for the Brave Bird. I could have gone for the Roost and just kind of played it a little bit risky, but whatever. I just decided to go for the Brave Bird, and now I KO'd his Armaldo and well my Honchkrow is also down. I'm going to go on to my Darmantan to see what he's going to send out and he's going to send out his Spiritomb. He's going to go for the Sucker Punch and the Sucker Punch is going to be enough to kill my Darmanitan so that kind of sucks. I probably should have saved my Darmanitan for later on in the match. I'm going to go on to my Raikou. My plan is to try and set up on the Spiritomb so I can pretty much try and get a sweep with my Raikou but anyways I went for the Call Mind and he sent out his Marowak so this is gonna be kind of risky i'm gonna decide to stay in and go for the hidden power and because i know the hidden power will be super effective on his marowak i believe this is hidden power grass and well the hidden power grass is gonna be enough to kill the marowak i didn't actually expect it to uh one hit kill the marowak even after one call of mine so well that was kind of shocking but in a way it's actually good for me because i managed to kill the marowak and if it did survive then my raikou would have been screwed i'm gonna go for the thunderbolt hoping to one hit kill the spirit tomb but unfortunately it isn't gonna be able to KO it and he's just gonna go for the trick and well he's now gonna get the life orb and I'm gonna get the choice band which is mighty unfortunate because I can't actually do too much with a choice band since pretty much none of my moves are physical but whatever he's gonna go for the sucker punch and I managed to live the Sucker Punch with 35 HP, so that's going to be really good. I'm just going to go for the Thunderbolt just to KO the Spirit Tomb, and now he's going to send out his next Pokemon, which is going to be the Scrafty. I'm going to decide to stay in and just pretty much uh, let my Raikou die and just go for the Thunderbolt. The Thunderbolt is going to do a decent amount of damage to his Scrafty, and well, he's just going to KO it with a high jump kick. And now that he KO'd my Raikou, I pretty much know that he has a Moxie ability because he just kicked in right there, so I can pretty much burn this thing and not have to worry about the Shed Skin ability. I'm going to go on to my I mean shout just to go for the fake outs because I th figured that the fake out would be enough to KO the Scrafty but he ends up switching out to his slow bro or not slow bro his slow king my bad gonna go on to the U-turn just to U-turn out into my next Pokemon and the U-turn actually ended up doing a decent amount of damage considering that slow king is really bulky but whatever I'm gonna U-turn out into my Blastoise because well I just wanted to play it safe and well sending out my Blastoise would have been the best option because Slowking can't do too much to my Blastoise and Blastoise can't do too much to the 
slow king anyways he's gonna go for the psy shock and the psy shock isn't gonna do a lot of damage i'm just gonna go for the toxic on slow bro because if he does decide to go for the slack off then well the toxic will eventually kick in after a couple of moves and that will make the slack off pretty much useless because after a while that slow king will get ko'd but anyways he's gonna go for the psy shock and the life orb recoil is gonna kill the slow king so that's gonna be the end of that i just decided to go for a random move so i decided to go for the rapid spin now he's gonna send out his crafty and i'm gonna let my blastoise die and i know that was a pretty bad decision i guess because now he has a moxie but i don't actually worry about the moxie because i do have the mean shout and the fake out will do a decent amount of damage to the crafty hopefully enough to kill the crafty but it didn't ko it so that kind of sucks but whatever i'm just gonna go for the high jump kick and well that's gonna be the end of scrafty and with that that's gonna be the end of the match guys so if you liked the video please rate the video comment and subscribe and until next time have a nice day